so grateful. I, I feel so special. I feel so much love. What a remarkable friend forever. Diana Lewis retired just yesterday, but she's back now so we can celebrate her illustrious career. We have lots of surprises in store over the next half hour, and you've got to watch it to the end. But first, I had the honor of putting together a look back at Diana's great career, at her life and legacy. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Diana Lewis. Where do you begin when you look back at such an amazing career? When Diana and I headed to one of her local favorites to talk, I decided to start by looking ahead. Next Monday morning, when maybe all this has started to sink in a little bit, what do you think you're going to be thinking and feeling? Just a, probably a continued sense of gratitude. You know, I'm so grateful. I, I feel so special. I feel so much love. I'm happy. I'm overjoyed. I'm overjoyed because I've been blessed with a wonderful career. A career in Detroit that began in 1977, anchoring with Bill Bonds, the first woman ever to work with him. By the time she got here to the Motor City, Diana had already spent years in male-dominated newsrooms trying to be recognized as an equal to her co-anchors. So you had to, your presence was sort of the staccato, good evening, here's the news. I mean, it was like, I won't be, you know, believed if I don't do it that way. I want to be believable. I want people to, to trust me. And then it was something special when I got here to Detroit. They believed me. They trusted Diana Lewis. And that's what made the difference of all the different markets that I had worked in Philadelphia and Los Angeles. I feel blessed because I was so welcomed by Detroiters and loved by Detroiters. Maybe that's because we could always feel her love. My passion is to make a difference, touching one person at a time. Diana's heart is this community. When I asked her over Coney's what some of the highlights of her career were, it wasn't the awards, although there have been many, some 150 awards and community recognitions, but instead, I heard about the trip to Lansing. What a morning I have had here at the state capitol. To talk to lawmakers about the importance of organ donations. Over 90,000 people are waiting for the gift of life. And her Tuesday's child stories. What can we tell a big brother about you? Pairing up kids with big brothers and big sisters. And some things I have to talk to a man about and not my mom. Then there was walking with Oprah to inspire Detroiters to take steps to better care for themselves. And meeting a busload of people coming in every other Saturday to walk with me to get healthy and stay healthy with me was probably one of the highlights because my mother was included in that. My mother would be here and she would walk spryly along with everyone else and you get to meet so many people with so many stories. It was Detroit's story that Diana reported on each night. After the riots, many people lost their faith in the city and left their neighborhoods. The good... 11 local charities benefiting from this gala event tonight. And the bad. New developments from Detroit's corruption trial. Always with an unequaled mix of professionalism and heart. I need the viewers to know. You bring it every day. Every, you haven't had an off day, I don't think, since you started. Certainly not the last two years I've been sitting next to you at 5 o'clock. <laughs> I get excited every day when it's time. Do you know I still get that little flutter here? I get nervous when I hear the music come on. I do. Your news at 11 with Diana Lewis. So imagine the nerves when she made her cameo in Rocky. Today we're here with heavyweight challenger Rocky Balboa. And on All My Children, she's been a star and brought us interviews with the stars. So this is like a perfect time to take this film and do something really positive with it. Diana's been like family to so many of us. That's what happens when someone spends 35 years in your living room. But it was the balancing act of raising her own family and working that sounds so familiar. Another challenge, leaving my kids at night. I ran into many difficult evenings where the children were smaller and they didn't want me to leave and go back to work. But you, you, you wrap your, your mind around what this will do in the big picture for the kids. They will benefit down the road. And it's with such great pride Diana speaks of her daughters, Glenda and Donna. In 2004, Diana and Glenda became the first mother-daughter team to anchor a newscast. Good evening, everyone, and happy Mother's Day. I'm Glenda Lewis. Mom, happy Mother's Day. Thank you, baby. It's like people said, well, Diana, Glenda's walking in, in your footsteps. And I always say, as I did on the Jane Pauley show, yes, she is, but she's wearing her own shoes. So now that she's anchored her last newscast, what's next for Di? Spending more time with her girls, precious granddaughters. I love you, Grandma. And her husband, Glenn. 
Glenn is there. He's been a part of my life since I was a cheerleader coming through school. We're best friends. We have fun together. I could coin my life at this point, but I've got so much more to do. So we end where we began looking ahead. I was asked once, how, how do you want to be remembered? Don't ask me about the past tense. I want to be included. I don't want to be remembered. Continue to include me. I'll be about making a difference as long as I live. Yes, you will. You know, I was given five Thank minutes you, for that Julie. die. You're Thank welcome. You. That was and I, beautiful. Thank I could you. have taken 10 minutes or 20 minutes a half hour to tell what you a story, but, <laughs> but I wasn't allowed to because we have some special guests for you over the next half hour. So if you thought you were getting out of here easy, not a chance. And we want to start right now with uh, with the legendary Jerry Hodak, who is joining <laughs> us. Hi, how are you? Share Jerry. some stories. <laughs> Oh, Chief. You know, you've been retired now since last night. Or just, <laughs> you got the hang of it yet? Oh, Chief, it, it, it feels good. How are you feeling? Tell I'm me terrific. what to expect. Um, you expect a lot of naps. In <laughs> <laughs> my I'm Michigan doing, State pajamas? Uh, there you go. You've got it all planned. Oh, I'm looking You know, I think you, uh, a lot of people would wonder, and I, I know a lot of people ask me, where did that, uh, what's the origin of that uh, name that you've given me, Chief? Chief. So you should explain it at some point so no. everybody knows. Well, I'll explain it now. <laughs> There's no one more at the top of their game when it comes to the web of science and being a science editor. And not only that, you mentored and taught so many people. I have watched you over the years bring so many aspiring meteorologists into the station and your patience, your kindness, your knowledge, and then the friendship that we've had over the years. It just, you're just chief and you'll always be chief to me. Well, thank you. I wasn't searching for a compliment. Really. <laughs> but that's what it is. But, you know, what it really, where it really started, the origin of it was that I, we, chief meteorologist. Mm -hmm. And meteorologist is not an easy word to say. So night after night, you can just drop the meteorologist part. And just the chief. chief. That's it. I like that. I love you, Jerry. It wasn't always popular either. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. I but, had folks to call me. Oh, Michael, why are you calling him chief? Stop but, calling him chief. I got emails or whatever. But did that stop me? No. Um, little known secret, we're both incorrigible. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we certainly are. Closet rebels. Closet. <laughs> but more than anything, we're friends. Indeed. Friends, our yeah. family's friends for a lifetime. I, I think one of the things, too, that uh, makes our friendship so strong is that we always knew that if, on those days when things weren't going as smoothly as we'd like, we always knew we could rely on the other one. Yes. And uh, we always had somebody in our corner and watching our back, and that's an important thing to have. And it wasn't just about being here at Channel 7. We were at, I was at your daughter's wedding. You've been to my daughter's wedding. We, we're friends. It's a family sort of it's thing. It's a yeah. family sort of thing. We are friends, and we'll be friends for a lifetime. Well, Donna and uh, Glenda still call me Uncle Jerry. Uncle so. Jerry. <laughs> oh, and always will. And always will. That's a, that's a high honor. Thank you. And I remember years ago, your daughter, I believe, was in North Carolina. Uh, I got on the telephone with the news director in Flint, and I'm telling him what it, what she means, her passion for the business. He said, are you saying I must hire Jane Hodak? <laughs> I said, I'm yes, saying. you must hire <laughs> Jane Hodak. And he did, and now she's the news director right. there. So, uh, yes, we, we care about each other, and we'll always support each other. And I think that's so important. You well, can't lose that. That is that part of the love. legacy die that you've left behind, is with all of our celebrations that we've had here today. You mentioned that Jerry mentored people and helped yes. people along the way. And that's what you have always done with everyone at this station. It's become so evident in the celebration since you announced your retirement that people have come forward to say what you meant to them. To all of us, to the Thank people you. who are coming up and to the people who work next to you every day, you've just been, been incredible. Well, it's so. all been in divine order. I'll tell you, I, I, I think that God above really did have this mission for me planned when I cried into the world uh, March 17th, 1943. And uh, I've been about it. And I, I feel so good and so complete. It's such a good day today because I've completed my journey. Yes. I did what I set out to do. I made a difference and women are now respected as professionals in this business. And to have so many young women here and our assistant news director every day reminding me and you and my daughter and seeing her, thank you for what you've done. It wasn't just my effort. 
effort alone, but I joined so many women at the time across the nation when women weren't respected and we had to sit like we were in three-piece suits and speaking the good evening, I'm Diana Lewis. I had to act like a man in order to be believed, and that's not so. And when I got here to this Detroit market 35 years ago, I was welcomed with open arms and love. I could bat my eyes, wear little eyelashes. I could put on a skirt, and it was okay. They believed and trusted in me. I love you, Detroit. Thank you for loving me back. Thank you, and thank you. Back with more with another special guest. Thank you, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jerry. Making the most of your money, creating good paying jobs, changing the way you dine out. It's hot, it's innovative, it's saving lives. You see success stories all around. Michigan is making a comeback. Channel 7 gives you a rare look inside it all. See what's happening right now that'll reshape our future. They're making a difference, investing in our communities. And best of all, it's Michigan made. Watch Saturday morning, October 6th at 9.30 on 7. Wayne County Community College District changes lives. It's a lot more intimate setting. The people are, they're there, they're dedicated to you. Because there are a lot of people there that would like to see them succeed. Thanks to Wayne County Community College District, I am working full time as a registered nurse. The college district creates avenues for higher educational opportunities. Take the leap, take the step, go to Wayne County Community College District, check it out. Register now. What people are saying about Proposal 6? Proposal 6? Darn right I'm voting yes on Proposal 6. And you know why? Because I don't trust politicians. With Proposal 6, they have to ask the people before they can build that new bridge to Canada. <laughs> Did you hear that they just cut a deal to be able to build it with foreign workers and foreign steel? Just like that bridge out in San Francisco. Foreign steel. You can't trust politicians. But you can trust the people. Now at Gardner White, get a streaming video player free and save up to $1,000 on every big picture package. Save 60 to 80% and get a 51 inch Samsung with a free Roku. Get bonus savings now. Our best deals ever on 100 different rooms. Check out this great package on sale for $19.99. All the furniture, the 51 inch Samsung, and the free Roku for just $19.99 with no interest for 18 months. Don't overpay. Get smart. Save now. Only at Gardner White. Give us your poor parallel park jobs and Bruce sedans. And we'll give your vehicle's bumper the paint and shine it's yearning for. Bring your vehicle into Mako now for our 149 bumper special. Mako, America's number one paint and body shop. We are back again with another surprise now for our friend forever, Diana Lewis. We have another guest, a very special guest to you. Don Shane, come on in. <laughs> like another you. one. I don't tell me to say hello. Oh, yeah. mm, I love you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Dude. Never miss an opportunity to kiss one of these women. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see you, Don. Great to be seen. What a great occasion for you to be here again. I love being here. Yeah. I absolutely love being here on this day. I wish we could show the world what you did, what you put on my head one evening <laughs> would you tell them about the story and he thought i was going to be upset listen to this all we did was uh photoshop the head of you onto the body of the swim swimsuit issue sports illustrated <laughs> i was too fabulous that night did. you looked great you know what diana said to me she's laughing so hard you know what she said to me she said i want it in wallpaper yes i want it all over the house donnie said a die i thought you'd be upset upset i want to use it in me? the living room oh my god that was and just all the fun the support Bar mitzvahs, there bar mitzvahs, everything. Uh, <laughs> we saw it briefly. We show it. Oh yeah, here it comes. Watch this. You'll see it again, I'm sure. Oh my, with so much fun, Don. <laughs> so much fun together. A life of love and support with family. I watched your kids grow. You watched mine grow. We were there for each other. You and Mona always. It's been special, and it's not going to end. We're flying. Glenn and Diana will be flying to Arizona. We can't wait for that. Uh, yeah, we, we will be work. there. You we invited us, and we will be there. Donnie, you know what strikes me about what we've been doing and what we've been seeing is all the different hairstyles over Donnie, the years. Donnie, leave my hair pieces alone. <laughs> no, we're going to talk about this. <laughs> because the we're ladies from Vision make them grow. Okay. My yes. <laughs> if they grow now. Donnie used to say to me when she put on a new wig, she used to say, how does it look? Now, you tell me, is there only one answer to that question? <laughs> There's only one answer to that question, but I don't know, it was 10, 20, 30, it was a different wig, and people say, is, is it... Is it 
real? Is I it a wig? Is it this? Is it that? I, I know you loved it. Yes. And I say it looks great. Didn't matter if it was black or brown or curly <laughs> or whatever. She looked good in all of them, didn't she? Oh, yeah, she, she looked did. good Thank in you. all of them. Yeah, she did. And now the other thing is, uh oh, the necklaces. Yes. In between, in the in the in the they have to be just right. Yes, That's they exactly do. Yes, right. they do. She would take out the mirror in the commercial breaks and put them and look and make sure that the necklaces, when she used to show more skin than she shows now, <laughs> were perfect. Were, were perfect. You're about my were, age? were perfect. Absolutely perfect. If that necklace, that diamond necklace, wasn't perfectly in line with her cleavage, it had to be moved. <laughs> Listen, I married all my life to a man who was a Marine sergeant at the Vietnam War. Everything about Glenn Lewis was impeccable. Everything. You should see his drawers. I mean, my things are thrown in there. Glenn's aligned. So I've got so accustomed after all these years, and we grew up together, I have to be just right. When I come out in my Michigan State pajamas, I march past him in the morning. <laughs> I, okay, I give him a salute. It's been great. It was just right. It was always just right. <laughs> Thank you, God. I want to say a couple things. One, I think you were a gift. I think you were a gift to this television station and this community. It didn't matter what charity you were involved with, be it Chocolate Jubilee for Alzheimer's, be it for the bikes for the kids for Christmas, be it for uh, the Haven, which you did so much, so much work. You were a people magnet, and people just gravitated to you and wanted to be in your aura and wanted to touch you and talk to you and meet you and see you. That was a gift. That was truly a gift. You were a gift to this television station, and I'll tell you why. You were a gift because you did things that nobody else did. In my mind, I haven't seen it posted in any newspaper. I haven't seen it in any editorial about you. In my mind, you were the greatest female anchor woman slash reporter in the history of this television station and in the history of Detroit TV. Without a doubt, unquestioned, the greatest <laughs> ever. Right here. Right here. That's so true. It is so very true. Thank you, Doc. She has sweet lips. <laughs> <laughs>